table, Pancake. No problem, Mama. Yay! Frosting flowers! <gasps> oh. <sighs> Maple, remember when to use your quiet voice. Okay, Mama. Pancake, watch out for that. Uh, whoa! Oh. Frosting. <laughs> Thanks for warning, Maple. But I'm not sure he heard it. Good night, Snickers! Good night, dolls! Good night, Pillow! Good night, Walls! Maple, it's time to use your extra special bedtime quiet voice so the rest of us can get some sleep. Okay. What did you say, Maple? I can't hear you. I said... Hi, Zunicorns! <laughs> wow, your loud voice startled me. Sorry. What? Sorry! <laughs> Sorry! Oops! Sorry? Loud voice? Voice? Regular voice? Which one? Uh, no. Oh, and when? Keep trying, Maple. You'll figure it out. Oh. There, Maple. Now, what did you learn from the tickle tree? Um, maybe whisper so don't wake up, sleepy tree. That's right. Yay! Still wanna play? Then try again. Maybe with the polka dot frogs. Always keep trying. It's up to you which one to use and when to use it. Stop, breathe, listen for the answer. Hmm, when need help, have no choice. I can use my loud ass voice! Yes, that's it! Yay! <laughs> I mean, yay! <laughs> That's right, Maple. 
people, when people near need to rest, little whisper is the best. You're figuring it out. And the final part of the answer is... I guess most of the other time. A regular voice is probably fine. Go, go, go! You figured it out. You did it! Strong finish! <laughs> <laughs> Everybody up, but quietly. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>